instructions? I don't see instructions anywhere. Where's the instructions? There's no I don't see any. There's no instructions! Get in there! Get in there! And then we will also reveal her name. She does have a name now. Oh gosh, this guy has just grabbed my heart. Oh my gosh, we're still finding googly eyes. What happens if the item sells for more than the ticket price? Who gets that money? Instructions? I don't see instructions anywhere. Where's the instructions? No I don't see any. There's no instructions! Unless it's on the box? It's not on the box. I mean, there's only like one logical way to find the answer. Where's the instructions? We're just gonna have to build it a little ledge. That's what we're gonna have to do. And then I got one more here, but I don't know where this one, where does this one go? Looks like it goes midway up, but it's like I'm missing. I'm missing something. Oh, this one. Oh, it does go taller. There we go. There we go. Well, this piece is supposed to slide under something for support. It is, but that's not going to do anything with that. Wobbling all over the place. We'll figure it out. We'll figure well, it's it wobbling because this is wobbling. Well, no, it's just off balance, but that's okay. We've got to figure out how we're plugging this in without it getting wet, too. That's always fun. Because you're, the basking area is over there but the electric's over here. So, <laughs> always an obstacle, always an obstacle to solve. Okay, we got this, we figure this out. Let me put this part first. All right, I gotta put your rocks in first, honey. Are you hiding in there? Are you hiding in there for us? Are you mad? You're mad, you mad. All right, rocks. Oh yeah, I brought, I don't know if she can use this here, but I'm thinking maybe, maybe. I a little, or what do you think? Leave it out? Will it go on the wall anywhere? I wish it would just go in the middle, but it would go on the wall. 
Should we leave it in? We we can't see what you're doing. What do you think? Leave it in or take. I don't, I feel she like won't use it. She won't use it, and it's just it's something she might be able to get in trouble with. So now we'll leave that out. All right. Let's, oh, these are so heavy. Why does the water oh, look better oh. on camera than it does in real life? Oh! I'm getting away! <laughs> Why does it look what? The water looks better on camera than it does in real life. Oh. I'm gonna wet now. I think I'm gonna go shop the shelves and then come back and release her once the heaters had a little bit more time. The filters had time to kind of get what I just kind of released in there. And uh, she's fine. She's, she's mad, but she's chilling. And uh, so uh, let's go shop the shelves. Yeah, she's in there. Wait, you can see her. She's in there. She's in there. And then we will also reveal her name. She does have a name now. So let's go get shop done. And then we'll come back to the turtle. First things first, got to get our lucky cart. Oh, can you tell Noah's been back at work? So this is my weekly Shop the Shelves of the Good Stuff Thrift Store. And the reason I do this is so that you can pick out items you would like me to run in my Monday afternoon whatnot sale. Yep, that's where we take some of these goodies and we put them in the sale that way all of my friends who are not here in Vegas also have opportunity to purchase some of the cool things that are here at the store. So we got our little Easter display. I apologize that the sun coming in the window is making it a little hard to see. Hmm. It's trust me, if you're here though, you can see it. Look, I can't believe that we have these lucky four leaf clover glasses. <sighs> and let's see. Probably not enough time to get them to somebody by uh, St. Patrick's Day. So what we'll probably do is just put that stuff on sale. Just put it on sale this week so that we can get that into a new home. Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? A swirl. Oh, you are getting sleepy. <laughs> what do you think about that piece? It's kind of fun. Let's run that one as it's been here in the store for a while. So nobody snagged it here. We'll put it in the sale. And that is how I do it. I find things that are just cool, things that I would normally buy at any thrift store that I would shop at, and I put them in the whatnot sale, including this cute little girl with kittens. Now she is a Paula cute. She is vintage. Not super highly valuable. Somebody asked me last week if I could please show the price tags on things. Yes, $2.99 on this. Now, the thing that we do here, anything that's been in the store over 30 days. Oh, wait, let me show you. Anything that's been in the store over 30 days is 30% off. 60 days, 60% off. It does exclude our white tags because that is uh, my friends who have booths on the side. So we can't dictate these discounts for them, but we can do it for everything else in the store, anything with a color tag. So uh, yeah, here's some of our fun little discounts we got going now. So at some point, everything becomes a great price. Even if it started off a little high, it, it gets down to the right price. So that way we kind of correct anything that may have gotten priced too high in the store. All right, let's see what else is over here that might need to go in the sale this week. And please speak up. If you see something, tell me down in the comments. Happy to run them. You probably saw me come buy this piece. $5.99 is the price that we have on it. It is a Teleflora Gifts, but how cute is that? It's a green glass vase with these little hand-painted daisies all over it. 
I am sure somebody will love that, so we'll run it. Over here is Crystal Van Ho's room. She's right as you walk in the door and she's got, just got this tiny little space up here, but that's because her specialty is jewelry. And her specialty is the jewelry that she makes out of Pyrex. Yes, Pyrex. Isn't it fantastic? I love, I love having Crystal be part of the good stuff, thrift and boutique. And these pieces are just amazing. Now, she does do a disclaimer. She didn't break it. She just rescues this Pyrex and turns it into something else beautiful. And what she allows me to do at every single sale is come in here and sell a piece. Yes, you can choose out of all of her jewelry pieces, any single item whether it be a necklace or a ring or earrings. And I think she's been working on some new cadmium pieces. So uh, that's what we do every week on the What Not Sale. It's buyer's choice, anything in Crystal's room. And if you wanna go find more selections, she is over on Instagram and Etsy and of course, Facebook. So there's her info, go check her out. Let's see what's on this cute little shelf here. Got a little single glasses used in a nice decorative way. Love it. We got the uh, blue ribbon duck. I, I don't even know what this is. What are you? Oh, you hold a sponge. Okay, it's a sponge holder. And we still got the Pioneer Woman candle down here. I could still ship this. Maybe we should actually burn it. One of the issues that we have is that we have a, it's a bakery, but they also have food and they cook food. And sometimes that food kind of wafts over here and gives an off smell to the store. So uh, maybe we should be burning that candle. Freedom's Doorways, Declaration of Independence, Constitution. Oh, it's like little replicas. Interesting, interesting. It's got, these are from... Brown Bigelow. It doesn't say a date. They've been here for a while. They're kind of cool. I need to do a whole ephemera sale. I really, really do. What do you think about, about me running these? There's definitely, definitely vintage. Um, copyright by Rosen, but it doesn't say year. I feel, I feel like there's a lot of interest in, uh, the foundings of our country and the documentation. So I think I will run those in this week's sale. Let's see what else we have in here. The little vintage marbles are still in here. I just am worried that these are gonna get stolen. So I, there are five of them in there and I am gonna run those in the sale. So this is our clear glass section over here. Oh, it's so hard for me to kind of try to figure out the item that you guys are pointing out that you would like. So I've got shelf one, shelf two, and shelf three. Let's call it there. So if you see something you'd like me to run, let me know which shelf it's on and then which item. And then let's call this shelf four, shelf five, and shelf six. Let's see if that works. I do see something I wanna run. This is a piece of EAPG. Now, when it's against all of this other glass, do you see the color difference? It's a clear glass. It's not meant to be a colored glass, but the ingredients used to make this glass 100 years ago caused it to have this kind of a, a greenish tint. So this is EAPG. It's got a thumbprint pattern. It is not a king's crown. This is earlier than king's crown, actually. I think we will run this cool little piece. We have to redo our art wall up here because someone bought just two of these. I need to put that high on the list this week because it looks a little funny. Oh gosh, this guy has just grabbed my heart. Uh, this is, it says AMH Old and Rags Cat. And we got that off of the bottom here where it's signed. It's made in 2005, so it's almost vintage. Stay, he's not gonna stay. 
I think he might be meant to be a doorstop or something. He doesn't sit real great. He kind of needs to lean. He's a leaner. I think it's a cat. I think, yeah, it's pretty sure it's a cat. But isn't he fabulous? I just love him. We had $14.99 on him. Let's run him in the sale this week. Hey, Rachel, there's more ducks in the case. I'm just saying. Oh my gosh, we're still finding googly eyes. We have these like remote control car bodies or something. I, I don't know much about that stuff, but we still have them. Still have the gloves too. Oh, these are cool. Little, um, we've had these a long, long time. We had $4.99 on them, but of course they would be 60% off right now. But I think a better place to sell these is going to be the whatnot sale. So these will be in this week's sale. You know, the really cool thing about being able to sell some things on whatnot is that I, it, it's for everybody. It's for local customers and those of you who don't live locally because local people can get onto whatnot and, and buy that way too. So I'm not really cheating anybody from buying anything here in person at the store because they can do the same thing. Uh, so that is that is why we also do this because the point of it is to make as much money as we can for the five nonprofits that we are supporting. We have a six that we support, but they don't bring in donations. We just give them donations right now. Um, we're, we're working on that, but uh, we do have five, five different nonprofits that benefit from your purchases, which is such a really cool thing. And I'm super excited. It's, it's almost payday for them. And I'm going to be revealing how much your support of the whatnot sales and coming in and buying in person has resulted in for them. Look at this velvet clutch. That is pretty fantastic. I don't know how to tell if it's vintage, but this really is screaming vintage to me. Garay? Garay? Garay. And it's rayon. I'm pretty sure that is vintage. And that is super fab. I am putting that in the sale. Still have our amazing silverware. I did listen to all of your advice about this table. Hey, Rachel's here. I can ask her. Rachel? Oh, no. She disappeared. I have a camera on in my hand. She disappeared. I was going to ask her how she felt about helping me paint this table. I do like the idea of painting it maybe like not a white white, but like a, um, oh, what do you call it? Like an antiqued white and then putting maybe some blue strips because blue is our accent color here, but then putting some shades of blue and to make it pop a little bit, but not dark lighten it up so that anything that we put on it is the star of the table. And I think that's the direction we're going to go. And of course, you know, I'm going to film it. So when I film it, you'll know we did it. <laughs> or if anybody wants to come in and have a painting party with me. These are McKee's dolls. This one is Amanda McKee's Crossing 1997 collection. Uh, we've got $74.99. It looks like probably a, oh, he's falling. This is Randy. Randy, sit up, sit up. You don't get to fall. You don't get to fall over. So there are some things that come in like this that we do look up. Now, we are careful not to put like full eBay pricing on it. We don't want to do that. But again, we do want to get the most that we can for the nonprofit who's responsible for donating these dolls. So uh, if they're here for 30 days, that price is going to go down 30%. If they're here for 60 days, that price is going to go down 60%. And when it goes down 60%, that's now a great reseller price for somebody to come in and take these and put them online. And that is kind of the system we have going. And I think it's working pretty darn good. There are deals for resellers and there are things for the local collector also to purchase. This is our baggy wall, ever growing. It's fun to find all the things that we can put into baggies and put them on this wall. And uh, that's what it looks like. We've got to get a little tag. We're trying to get it like household. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to decide. Crafting is obviously a big thing that we get baggy items. And then it's like 
um, kitchen and, and household or home or decor. I have to go back and look at a video of like how Savers calls theirs. And then we have to just scale it down to our little grid wall here. Um, this we're trying to keep seasonal and some crafting. We've got all of our seasonal baggies here. Lots of Easter grass if anybody needs to make Easter baskets. And then we have ribbon galore. Oh, we've got we've got baggies that need to be hung back. Oh, wait, you're seasonal. You would go up here. We'll put you there. All right. We've got all of this ribbon. It's a dollar ninety nine each. And there's everything from wide ribbon to I don't know. I don't know anything about this is couture ribbon it's bougie blue and there's oh more things ending up in here that need to be hung back over here we can do that maybe there we go more ribbon oh we got some uh i like to call it tule tule i know it's not tule but that's how i like to say it this looks like it is velvet anyway got some nice ribbon got these cute little bins off of uh, facebook marketplace and they work perfect for something like this. We've also got all of these brand spanking new in the package items. There are adult sweatpants, I think. Let's see. No, these are the shorts. So they're sweat shorts. And these are children's. They're by Cat and Jack. They're a Target brand. You know, they were 10 bucks at Target. And so we've got $6.99 on, on them to start. Um, and then let's see. No, I lied. We've got $3.99 on those. $3.99 because we wanted to be less than half price. I thought when I said that it didn't sound right. And then on the sweatpants, which are these brand new with tags, they're Wild Fable. Again, these were like a Target overstock that got donated to us. We have seven or $6.99. And those originally were $16. So again, we're less than half price. And in 30 days, that'll go down 30%. And in 60 days, that'll go down 60%. So bada bing, bada boom. Right now, if you come in the store, we are running our 50% uh, off all our winter wear, which includes sweaters, jackets, hoodies, scarves, winter hats, Anything winter is 50% off. And I know there's still a lot of really, really good resale items here on the shelves, as well as if you want to like stock up now for next season. But then we're going to be changing things around very soon. Here we have one of our little end caps with some fun stuff. Let's take a peek. I do like this wood bowl. Oh, it's a Bodum. It is a Bodum. We have it priced at $6.99. It's Design R. Nissen. Danish Designs. I think that will be in this week's sale. It's always a dilemma. Patty comes in and makes these shelves look so beautiful, and then I come through and kind of wipe them out. So I always feel the need to, after I'm done making this video, go and move some things around and fix it up a little bit. These are Lennox. These are Lennox. Salt and pepper shakers. We had them priced at $6.99. We'll be running those in the sale. Now, I'm only showing the prices because I got asked to show what our, some of our pricing is. But those that, that have come to my sales every week know that I start everything at $1 and it goes for what it goes for. So that can, that can kind of go both ways, but uh, we do that in order to get everything sold this is another one of Annette's beautiful little uh, personal travel altars. See, that one was $3.99. And we will run that one in this week's sale, too. Now, I have had some questions in regards to, Danny, what happens if the item sells for more than the ticket price? Who gets that money? So here's kind of how the bookkeeping works around here. So... I, as an individual entrepreneur, after I do this, I'm shopping, I'm shopping the shelves, and I do the sale, I ring everything up. I personally buy everything. So now, whatever the ticket price was, of course, it's the same as if somebody had come into the store and purchased that item. So the different nonprofits get those funds just like they would if anybody else shopped. The 
different thing that I do now is then I look at the results of that sale and I add from my personal fund, my separate business now puts more money in to support those nonprofits. And that's how it works. And I want to make sure that's really clear out there to everyone that Danny is not putting the extra money in her pocket. It is going to support these nonprofits because that, that is my mission right now is to make sure that everybody here makes money. Here is another one of Annette's little travel altars. She does these all by hand. Annette is one of our amazing volunteers. And I didn't get to see her last week and give her some goodies that I found at an estate sale for her. I cannot wait to see her this week and give her those items, but I am gonna run this other fabulous Annette creation. This keeps drawing me over, this beautiful bird mug, cup and saucer, I guess I should say, Victoria Austria Bluebird. We have $6.99 on that, and it has been here for a hot minute, and no one has snagged that. So guess what? It's your lucky day. It's going in the sale. So Rachel seems to be on a little bit of a duck kick lately, so I, I kind of am looking at ducks. And this one is really, really cute. It's got little blue flowers, and this little guy is going in the sale. I do have to give my shipping guy a mix of big items and small items. If I throw all big items at him, he might quit. <laughs> and we don't want that. Oh my goodness. And again, if you see something that I don't pick up to put in the cart, please leave a comment. Email is not best. You want to leave it in a comment uh, because that's what we focus on. Emails might get mix, mixed, <laughs> missed. I don't know why peas mixed was coming to my mind. Kind of cute there. Um, yes, yeah, so please, please, please leave it in a comment. The other thing that leaving the comments does, I'll be flat out honest, is it helps the video get out to more people because then... YouTube says, hey, people are interacting with this video, and then they want to put it out to more people who will watch and interact with it. So the comments really, really help the channel, and I do go through and find all the things that you guys want to purchase. Nobody has ever told me that they want these guys yet, so let me know. Let me know. Carrie thinks these are fabulous. So does anybody else think they're fabulous and want me to run them? This is interesting. Bake Oven USA, $4.99. And it would be 60% off of that. I'll leave that for one of our local customers to come and find, unless somebody leaves me a comment and says, hey, run that thing. Kind of our brown section here. We do like to color block. I It just brings me joy. Brings me so much joy to color block these shelves and just make it a nice shopping experience. And thank you all who've come into the store and commented that you enjoy it too. Just makes my heart happy. I am seeing that we have more keys. We have more of the wrought iron keys. We will run some of those this week. All right, I think I missed a comment last week about one of these 60s or 70s mugs. So I think what I'm going to do is I will put both. Actually, I'm going to put all four of these Our Name is Mud mugs into the Buy Now section of the sale. That's right. There is a Buy Now section. You don't have to wait for the sale if you can't be there while I'm live. I load up lots of stuff over there if you want to just come over, buy something to support the channel or to buy something, you are welcome to do so. So all four of those brand spanking new mugs are gonna go in the buy now section. This caught my eye. This is quite interesting. I don't know who made this. It looks like AG made this. It is a hobbyist piece. It's very interesting. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But if you feel strongly about me selling it, let me know in the comments. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, <laughs> just as I was turning off the camera, I spotted these guys. Look at these. 
they have little hooks on the end so I don't know I don't know if you could use them also as like a little uh, purse hook or something on the wall but you could put a frame or put a frame put a picture in there and uh, I think those are pretty fabulous I'm gonna run those all right let's cruise down the aisle here this is more of our kitchen section Ooh, what are you this looks like one of those oh no it's metal i thought it was one of those alcohol 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 proof uh japanese trays but it's not it is a metal tray now i'm thinking it almost looks like a briard but let's see it says something on the back here it's lancaster serving tray very very interesting hazel i know i'll get closer here hazel wear no barrett <laughs> barrett wear how did i see hazel in that that's what it says we have this at 9.99 but of course it is at 30 percent off already i don't know you guys want me to run that i'd be happy to just let me know let me know if anybody just kind of got some good vibes off of that oh i've got some of the larger keys i'll run those too and oh hello mr m m do i have any m m's fans out there be better if it was a green m m mug huh green seems to be like the popular color this is made by galleries i think we'll run him oh i see something with dragonflies i know i have some real dragonfly loving people out there live each day as if life has just begun that's not a bad thing to read every day. Put this someplace prominently. Paula, two ninety nine is what we were asking on that. Put it prominently uh, because that we all need that reminder, don't we? All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, I've got more. You know what I'm going to do with the keys, guys? The keys, I think I'll put them over in the buy now section, but we may run some also just to start some at a dollar and just play with it and have some fun. So I am going to put those keys in there. And then here is another one of Annette's traveling altars. We will run that as well. We like to put larger items up on top of the shelf here. We have some big pieces of pottery and boxes and just fun stuff. So always look up when you're shopping here at the store. And then let's see if there's anything else over here that sparks a little joy and needs us to put it in the cart all right i just found these got put back out on the shelf but these are in the buy now section of the sales they are little hand stamped bulletin boards we've got everything from strawberries to farm scenes to little utensils uh, let's see what else we got oh we got the little schoolhouse the fruit basket so we have smaller ones larger ones some of them have magnets on that's a great idea too if you want to like if you still have one of those refrigerators you can stick things to i don't anymore but these will be in the buy now section here's our kind of our oceany themed section one of my faves. This is a sweet little shell boat. Unfortunately, somebody has glued the bottom back on, but they used big globby glue. Big globby glue. Just like the hand on the bottom. But I think it's still a pretty amazing piece and we're gonna sell it. All right, I sold some of these. I do believe I sold some of these last week or the week before and I just found another set unless I'm just losing my mind and I didn't actually sell those and I just remember seeing them but at any rate we're gonna sell them this week let's see what else we have we have an ironwood fish you know how I love my ironwood he does have a little damage on his bottom tail there. But ironwood has such an amazing grain. Look how it almost just blends right back in. And I bet if you kind of sanded that out, 
You wouldn't even notice it. I don't know why he's got a crooked mouth. Oh, well, maybe because he's meant. Maybe as he meant to be looking this way. If that's the case, then you wouldn't even see, you know, what was on the backside there. I'm surprised he doesn't have a googly eye. He's a perfect candidate for a googly eye. I'm just saying. At any rate, we're going to put him in the sale. You just never know. He might end up with a googly eye in the sale. You know, if we want to have some fun and all. Look at a little rooster. $2.99 kitchen sponge holder. A little wooden rooster some of you might like. Again, just let me know down in the comments if there's something I don't put in the cart, but you're like, Danny, I want you to run that. I look for those comments as soon as the video launches. I start watching for those comments and I keep myself a little notebook and I'm taking notes so that I can come in here Monday morning. Well, Monday morning I start and then I watch the comments up until about an hour before the sale starts. Now, the sale starts at 3 p.m. So make sure you watch this video before then. Of course, if you're hearing me say that and it's after that, you'll know for next time. Uh, but that's kind of the cutoff is 2 p.m. on Mondays to get things added from the shelves. This is our little kitchen section. Our mugs. Oh, we've been selling mugs. Look at that. This was stuffed with mugs. And now it's not. That's pretty cool, actually. I love it. I love seeing that stuff is moving from the shelves. Now, of course, these really large, heavy appliances and things, I'm not so keen on shipping those. Um, but anything else, anything else is fair game. Here's our little pet section. Pet section over here. We've got some pretty cool uh, pet bowl dishes. These are ceramic dogs. Um, we've got all these different colors. If anybody wants, I could put some of those in the buy now section. They are brand new. That's why we have multiples. Sometimes we just get that closeout stuff. And uh, they're pretty fantastic. This is so cool. Is If it's what I think it is. You, your doggy sticks his head out the backpack, right? I don't think Ozzy would like it, but I like the concept. It would be nice if Ozzy liked that. His life would open up. Oh, yeah, there's more uh, doggy doggy outfits over in the buy now section. I think we also have some of the harnesses over there. If you need a particular size or color or something, uh, let us know. We could, we could dig and add some stuff. These are all brand new with tags, as you can see. And uh, pretty much every color imaginable in there. Ooh, look at those elephants from Thailand. Those are Oop, those are fantastic. Sequins and all that embroidery. I'm thinking we're going to run that in the sale. It does say eathappytau.com is the name at the top. I don't, I don't know much about that, but it, maybe it's... Oh, Annette made this. Annette made this wondrous thing. Of course we're going to run it. Gosh, thank you, Annette, for making such incredible things. All right, now getting over into our glasses section. Again, I'm seeing spaces. It looks like we are selling some things. Wow, that makes me really happy. I love that. I have not been in the store looking around for a good week, so this is, this is pretty cool to find. I love seeing empty spaces because that means stuff is sold. We've got all these brands spanking new tumblers here. They were actually, they came from like one of the casinos, I think, it gave them out in sets. So they all came in, in new boxes. And they're just these little, this kind, silicone on the bottom, or not silicone, like a felt on the bottom so they don't slip. And you can drink your coffee without it spilling in the car. I have been working really hard to add things up here on my stage. Ah, it's how I'm getting my office emptied out. So there are some new things up here, uh, including all of these really cool decorative bottles. I may put some of these in the buy now section for you guys. There's three different designs, I think. Yeah, these are the three different designs that I have. So there's kind of the... Um, 
the mannequin, and it's, it has a Paris theme. There is the uh, girl with the, uh, what has she got? I don't know what she's got. She's got roses. Yeah, she's sitting. The sitting girl. And then there is the standing girl. So I'll be putting some of those in the buy now section as well. So after the grand opening, I had the karaoke set up up here. And I've kind of tried to redone, redone, try, redo some things. You might remember the elephants that I bought at a yard sale. Those are now up here. My little mid-century log holder is up here. And I've been working hard. And I've got some clothing racks now up here of some nicer things that I come across. And like, yeah, you know, I like to buy it. I don't like to list it. So here it is at the store. Yes, look at this fabulous jacket. I should put my winter long sleeve stuff on sale as well, shouldn't I? This old, old wedding dress. Look at this lace. It's pretty amazing. Got some boots. Still got all of this stuff up here, little sculptures and things. And again, I'm all, always open for requests from anything up here on my stage because this is all my stuff. I can start anything up here, even though it's a white tag, I can start anything up here at a dollar because it's mine. Yes, somebody was asking if I still had some of the trolls. I do. I do indeed. Got some clear glass items, some EAPG Westward Ho is the name of that pattern. I've got some of my Gillander Classic. Uh, this came from my personal collection. When my deer and dog uh, collection got too big, I had to squeeze out another pattern, and it was this one that I decided to give up. So here it is at the store. And then we've got another whole section of ocean life. And since I'm running that other fish, I think I will take this from my personal collection and run this. And I definitely need to get some more things priced and out on the shelves. I'm working really hard out of my office to do that. It's been really, really difficult, though, because Noah's been out sick and Carrie's been out sick. And uh, then I had to take a trip to San Diego. So just trying to get things back on track as I get back here. Now, somebody had asked about a ceramic Christmas tree over in this section. If that was you, I got a, I got a Temptations, like a cookie jar ceramic tree. And then I've also got this cookie jar ceramic tree. So I don't know if it was one of those you were referring to. All right, so again, I'm not gonna pull any of these, well, I am gonna pull this, um, but I'm not gonna pull any of these items into the cart right now unless you specifically tell me, hey, run that such and such please, from your booth, because I am, of course, always willing to do that. And I am going to be loading this up, working really hard this week. So if you are in the area and come by, I always say, you heard me say on my video that I would give at least 25% off to any of my viewers up here on my booth. I'm very negotiable with my prices up here to my viewers. So that's kind of my thank you for watching the channel and coming in and shopping in the store. Always happy to do that for you. Well, my cart is getting quite full, so we're about ready to call it a day. Now, I'm pretty sure, unless she has a relapse, Carrie is going to be here this week. I know I promised last week, but then Carrie got sick and she couldn't be here. So I do believe we are going to be doing a little shopping in the Carrie booth this week. So if you see something that you would like us to run, call it out in the comments and we can make that happen. Just remember to say the such and such in Carrie's room. And we will find it and we will run it. I know Carrie would be happy to do that. Carrie loves to sell things. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. Picasso style hand painted plate for $25. I feel like that's a really good price. Carrie prices things really well. And uh, she's doing pretty good now. She's got her booth stocked up. 
So just let us know. Again, my goal is to help everybody sell stuff, make some money, help you guys find cool things, whether you're a reseller or not. We want you to find some cool things and uh, just trying to keep, oh, just trying to keep this whole reseller and online community getting along. I keep forgetting that we stuck this little shelf over here and kind of looking. Here's the other thing that's happening here at the store. So many people have asked for, uh, to rent some space. Can, you know, if you have a room come available and we are having a room come available, but again, as I just said, I love to share the love with as many as I can. So what we have decided to do is rent out some showcases and shelving. So if you would be interested in a small space here, it's not a huge financial burden then, and it's not a lot of work to maintain it. And that way we can help more people make some money and have some fun doing it. So send an email to the niche lady at gmail.com if you would be interested in renting out a showcase or a shelf here at the store. We'll take a peek and see what Picker Road has been adding to their booth. Again, they do whatnot sales now and they also have their own channel. So many people were saying, when are they gonna have their own channel? Well, it's up. Picker Road is officially on YouTube showing you the things that they're finding out there in the wild, just like I do. And well, you know, not just like I do, but they're doing their own flavor on it. And I actually am really enjoying their videos. I'm looking forward to the next one every time. But they're doing whatnot sales now right after mine. So if you come to my whatnot sale, we will help you get to Picker Road's whatnot sale, which happens right after mine. And they sell everything from the things that you're seeing here in the booth to some pretty cool jewelry pieces. Harleen has an amazing eye for jewelry, so make sure you're tuned in. If you've never signed up for Whatnot yet, there is a link that will get you $15 to come and spend any way you like over on Whatnot. That's our gift to you. Well, it's Whatnot's gift to you so that you can come and check out the platform with a little worry-free spending. And uh, so I'm excited to give you that link and give you some free money. So come check it out. And come just join the chat, join the fun, and uh, see what's happening over there. Now, I also know Miss Tiffany, Thrifting Vegas, is doing whatnot sales. I think she does hers on Sunday afternoons. So keep an eye out for those. You can go bookmark any seller over on whatnot. And then when you go to whatnot, there's a way to turn on notifications too, I think. I don't turn notifications on for anything. I just go to the site and I check it out. And then when I go to the homepage of whatnot, it shows me my favorite bookmarked sellers and if they're having a sale coming up or if they're live right at that time, which is a really cool feature. So make sure you're following your favorite sellers over on whatnot. All right, well, here's my beginning cart of stuff to sell on Whatnot this week. I'm gonna get all this stuff up on the shelf so we can just pull it off and sell it. And I'll be adding the things that you leave down in the comments that you want me to add to the sale. But now, let's go show the turtle its new home and I'm gonna reveal the turtle's name. All right, should we tell everybody what your name is? So you know the name of the store is the Good Stuff Thrift Store. And good has always been in the name of all of my business ventures. And so I thought it was only appropriate that since the mascot of the store, yes, by the way, you're the new mascot. Yes, you are, mamas. Uh, the mascot of the store should have good in her name. So we have named her Goody. And Goody is gonna go into her new home that we built. So here is the finished oh, ow, pond. Ow, ow. She has, she's got sharp little claws. <laughs> uh, here's the finished pond. This is actually the filter. So it, it redistributes the water um, with this cool little fountain. There is a heater on in there. 
We're gonna add some more gravel, but for now there's some. She's got her little basking spot over there. That is a heat lamp. So she can, just like being in the sun, we still have some things to do. I'm gonna put probably like a little tree over there and then we're gonna put plants around the edge here and finish it off, but it's ready for her to live in. Scratchy. All right, so she was scratching Rachel, so. Oh, you're, you, you're just, you're so silly, I know. Too bad you're not like Hope and know that head scratches are good. Head scratches are good, Mama. Yeah, oh good, you're seeing, I'm not hurting you. Yay, guess what? It's time to go to your new pond. Okay, let's make it happen, Rach. Let's make it happen. I promised I would not put Rachel's face on the camera. So there we go. Let's see what she does. Oh, she sees there's water there. And touchdown! I know. Oh, there she is. There she is. She's popping up over there. Oh, she needs to realize that she needs to be on the edge to stick her face out. She'll she'll discover that over here it's built up a little bit. No, she's over there. She's sticking her head out. There. Also, there. coming soon will be turtle cam. Turtle cam will be happening. Where is she? Oh, over here. Oh, she. I see her. Oh, she, she keeps seeing you and moving too fast. Oh, there she is. There she is. Hi. How are you? What do you think? There you go. Mm -hmm.